So what's in the box? Oh, a lot of crowdfunded projects utterly fail. This one succeeded. My generation was the first to grow up with computers. I was an Apple II kid. Other kids in the United States grew up with Commodore 64s or Atari 800s. But if you are in England, you might have grown up with a BBC Micro or a ZX Spectrum. This is really slick packaging. Here's the back. There's an HDMI digital video port and this, I guess it's a tiny HDMI digital video debug port. That's interesting. And this keyboard with all this stuff here, that's not something you're going to get just playing with an emulator on your laptop. It comes with a quick start guide and a real user manual. We have a custom power brick with an inline switch. Connectors for power standards for a variety of different countries. Okay, when you start it, it cycles through different modes and Right now it seems to be unhappy with the current modes, or I should say my TV is unhappy. And it seems to be happy with this one. It complains that compatibility is better at 50 hertz, but it looks like my TV only wants 60 hertz, so I'm just going to say yes. This is the only mode that seems to work on my Sony TV. Ah, there we go. I get that it's stylish, but this white on black text is really hard to read. I think having black on white would have been better. And I have a bunch of zooming zooms. Different demo. Okay, so if I really wanted to talk about this in detail, I would need to get some sort of HDMI capture setup going on. Okay, let's try out some games. This is Sanxion. Prepare for death. I died pretty quick. I wasn't prepared for death. Here's a ZX80 game. Workers of the World Unite. Here's some Z Machine games that will run in an emulator. Z Machine is the virtual machine for the Infocom games. Hey, it looks like it will even run CPM. Yep, that's CPM. I am finding the keyboard difficult to use. I'm generally kind of one key over from where I expect the keys to be. It would take a while to get used to this keyboard. I think just because of the way there's extra stuff over here and there's like no semicolon here. But I can't really complain about the keyboard because I know they are going for authenticity. The Spectrum Next is based on an FPGA, so you can download other cores for it and create your own cores. I am completely blown away by the Spectrum Next. The level of polish of the hardware and the software and the presentation is truly astonishing. Alas, if you want a ZX Spectrum Next right now, you're left with looking at the used market. Although it looks like the hardware is available in a variety of other kinds of forms. That might be fun to experiment with. This particular ZX Spectrum that you've seen in this video is on loan from a friend and I have to give it back. So if they do another Kickstarter, am I going to pick one up? Probably not. Although I'm really impressed with this, I don't think it's necessarily for me. In particular, the keyboard is a little bit odd. But if I had grown up with a ZX Spectrum and had an emotional attachment to it, I would definitely pick up one.